Uh, he has been very successful with Duhalla in the Cork County Senior Football Championship with it. Uh, um, I suppose at times it can uh, uh, drive you mad when we see all this hand passing. And uh, But the thing about it is the other team can play football without the football. And uh, I think that, you know, that it, uh, my landers will get... Uh, very upset when they don't have the ball, and uh, I think it will be to Drumcolor Bradford's advantage. Yes, indeed, John, just waiting now for Drumcolor Bradford to line, line up behind the band. Bally Landers already down below there, led by their captain, Danny Murphy. Tom McLaughlin now coming over, leading his troops, followed over there by Shawnee Buckley. See Tommy Stack and Niall Conway now coming over. Bally Landers going for back-to-back -back championship victories over Drum Colour Bradford. Drum Colour Bradford trying to avenge that heavy defeat last year. And no matter what happens here in Park Nagel this evening, I don't think there's going to be 13 points between any of these two teams. As the Drum Colour Bradford substitutes make their way off the field. I see John Kelly down below me. Michael O'Sullivan, Declan O'Connor, Jason Ryan, Michael Bice, Timmy Stokes, Connor Brosnan, Colin Lawden and Kevin Culhan as the pipe band down below me lead the two teams Tom McLaughlin for Drum Colour Broadford Danny Murphy the captain of Ballylanders John, do you think Gary Egan will, will play a defensive role this afternoon? Will he sit in front of that uh, half-back line? To be honest, Mike, I, I don't know, but uh, both the Bally Landers and the Drum Colour Bradford team, I have an awful feeling that they, they will not play as selected. I think there'll be, when the game will start, there'll be holes, wholesale changes on, on both teams. And it's a beautiful day here, and it's on the 28th day of October, and uh, it's absolutely... Beautiful to see both teams there and they're marching after the band just prior to, to this final today. Um, just looking down there through the substitutes, uh, indeed, uh, uh, many of them must maybe uh, have a, a bit be grieving a little bit that they had done enough to to be on the first 15. Kevin Colhan, who played in the semi final, uh, John Kelly, who I believe is fitter than he ever was, Michael O'Sullivan, who was on the team. Un until he, he suffered a serious uh, injury there during the season. You have Declan O'Connor, uh, who was starred in some county finals already. Jason Ryan, who also played in county finals, and Michael Boyce. And you have the upcoming Timmy Stokes, Connor Brosnan, and Colin Larden, and, and also on the substitutes. Um, really very proud of uh, uh, the makings of a, a great team there on the, subs on the subs. And if anyone has to go off injured, um, I'm, I'm sure when they call upon they will all do that, whichever one of them, they will do very well. As we prepare now for the national anthem.
On my right hand side we have uh, Liam Herman and Johnny Welch. I was told earlier this morning that uh, Liam was asked in one word who would win the match today and he said Ballylanders. We will prove him wrong in drum colour Bradford. Yes John, let's hope so that we can prove Liam wrong. Fantastic commentary here to my right hand side along with the the batter Steve Lucre, Johnny Walsh and Jason Stokes centre field along with Pat Donnelly the referee Mike Mann from Bally Brown not known as a football referee or mostly a holding referee let's hope he'll handle the situation well here in the Gaelic grounds this afternoon centre field for Bally Nanders is Johnny Murphy and Willie Kiley looks like Mike O'Brien is indeed starting inside in the corner for as the 2008 senior football county final gets underway over there now towards me, Hall Reedy, twisting and turning this into the field, back there towards Captain Fantastic Thomas McLaughlin. McLaughlin going up the field, being closely attended to there by Stephen Fox. Over there now towards Gary Egan. Egan back to me, Hall Reedy, look inside for Ray Lynch. The ball inside there now in towards Raymond Lynch, well intercepted. Over there, looks like by Connie McSweeney for Barry Landers, but drum color Bradford still on the attack over the far side of the field. Twisting and turning over the far side, back there now towards Ray Lynch. Players looking for it. Outside, and Lynch has it yet again. Lynch twisting and turning, a hand pass there into Michal Reedy, was coming over the head of Michal, and Bally Landers coming out of defence there with Danny Murphy. Bally Landers on the attack there now with, looks like Mike Mansell out around the half hour line. Mansell twisting and turning, looks for steps, a shot from Mansell, it looks good, and it's gone to the right, and it's gone wide. First scoring opportunity there for Bally Landers, and that's tailing to the right and going wide. And a hand passing over the far side of the field from Drum Colour Bradford. That's the way Ned English has this team drilled to play. Raymond Scott will take this kick out. He'll look for Jason Stokes around the centre of the field. Yes, I see Gary Egan has drifted back now and has gone in front of, of in between the full back line and the half back line. Michal, Michal Reedy there on the 40. Lots of space inside there in the Bally Landers. Full back line that's out towards now. Jason Stokes with there for. Drum colour Bradford is Gary Egan. Back there towards Niall Conway. Gary Egan, who played at corner forward, didn't have the best of games in last year's county final, hoping to amend and bring home the county title to Drum Colour Bradford. Jason Stocks in the centre of the field there towards Michal Reedy. Michal Reedy being closely attended to there by Patrick Fox, and Michal Reedy is fouled there by Patrick Fox. And Michal Reedy taking the quick free, looking for the runs inside. Ray Lynch coming off for it. Garrett Noon is inside. So, Michal Reedy. From Colour Bradford now. On the attack now. Back there now towards Patrick Donnelly. Donnelly look inside for that. It looks like it's just Charlie Buckley inside. From Colour Bradford with Charlie Buckley. Taught a hand. Charlie still coming out the field. There's a Garrett Noonan. Yes, it is Garrett Noonan. And Garrett is foul. And it's going to be a free to Drum Colour Bradford. A good scoring opportunity now for Michal Reedy. So Michal Reedy with his first free in the Gaelic grounds this afternoon. The wind seems to have died down quite considerably here in Park Naguel. Michal can kick with both left and right. This will suit the right-footed kicker. So can Michal Reedy give Drum Colour her broad for the lead here in the 2008 County Senior Football Championship final. Sponsored as usual by Limbrick's 95 FM. So Michal stepping up. The shot from Michal Reedy, where that has gone to the left and it's gone wide, John, and a bad miss from Michal Reedy. Yes, he never got underneath that free. Uh, we must also uh, understand that we are from Colour Bradford are playing against a very, very stiff breeze. Yes, John, it seems to have gathered up their momentum again with Declan O'Connor. Now we'll see with Declan's kick out. Is the wind uh, favouring Bally Landers in this first half? Kick from Declan O'Connor towards the centre of the field. Derry McCarthy over the far side of the field. Well gathered by Derry. But last out there to Shane Fox for Bally Landers. And it's going to be a line ball over the far side. And them switches, John, we were talking about. I see Michael Bryan is already out around the centre field. Marking Patrick Donnelly and Gary Egan. As anticipated, is playing in front of the full back line. As Bally Landers try and engineer the first score of the 2008 senior football final. In there now towards Jimmy Barry Murphy. We're back there for Drum Colour Herb Bradford. It looks like is it J Tom McLaughlin or Jason Stokes? Drum Colour Herb Bradford with Gary Egan. One Barry. Drum 
Connor Bradford overplaying and elaborating and it breaks there now towards Stephen Walsh. Walsh is on the solo and the ball is inside there now to the centre field man Johnny Murphy. Johnny Murphy twisting and turning. He's on the 21. A hand pass inside there. It looks like Jimmy Brian Murphy is hoisted and it's gone in over the bar. I think that could have been Kieran O'Callaghan, John or Mike Mansell. Can't see the numbers, but a good score there and it could have been it could have been a goal there, John, for uh, Bally Landers, but they took the point. Yes, uh, I thought they would go for a goal and, and uh, from Colour Braff were extremely lucky. Definitely over elaborating there from the Drum Colour Braffer centre field and on Barry and Tom McLaughlin getting their wires crossed and the ball ending up over the Drum Colour Bradford bar and Bally Landers going to a one point to no score lead. Eamon Scholar, the sun blaring into his eyes, a quick free from Eamon Scholar, disaster here for Drum Colour Braffer. A shot, a goal for Bally Landers, disaster. Disaster for Drum Colour Braffer. John, can you see who scored the goal? I, I, it looks like. It's O'Callaghan. O'Callaghan has got the goal for Bally Landers. A draft dig error from the goalkeeper, Eamon Scollard. Years of experience did not tell on that occasion. A bad mix up, John, and 1 1 to no score. Disaster, John, for Drum Colour Brot. This is Kieran O'Callaghan. Uh, absolute disaster. Uh, stupid mistake. We don't give the likes of O'Callaghan opportunities like that. Eamon Scott will be well advised to kick the ball long. Not a great kick out from Eamon. It'll go in there now towards. John Colour brought for now are on the attack. Jason Stokes in the centre of the field being closely attended to there by Stephen Walsh and Walsh wins the battle on that occasion. So John Colour brought for really need to uh, settle down now. They're down 1 1 to no score. Niall Conway over the far side of the field. D O'Leary to Tom McLaughlin. McLaughlin to Danley. Danley to Egan. Egan starting a corner forward back around the half back line. Michal Reedy. One Barry's out to his left, but Michal's still going through. Michal loses the ball. It still breaks inside. Twisting and turning there. And it looks like it could be free out, but no, says the referee. Continue playing. Barry Landers hassling, hassling, hassling. We're giving away the free. And it's going to be a free to drum colour her Bradford. And it looks like Michal Reedy or Patrick Danley is going to take this. Two men full forward line inside. Derry McCarthy and Garrett Noonan. Shawnee Buckley and Patrick Donnelly. So a great start for the management of Eamon O'Neill and the coach Tom McGlinchey from Ballylanders hoping to put back-to-back -back senior titles together. And the sun in the eyes of Michal Reedy. And the referee is going to have a chat with Mike O'Brien. Seen those off the ball and just Mike Mann warning um, Mike O'Brien and there was if I can remember correctly, towards the end of the last year's final, there was a lot of um, off-the-ball incidents, so maybe a few personal battles to be avenged this afternoon. It breaks to Dan Lee. Dan Lee's looks good. It's a shot from Dan Lee, and it's high, and it's over the bar. A great score for Drum Colour Bradford and Pat Dan Lee, John. And let's hope, John, that's for better things to come. Yes, uh, that was a well worked free. Uh, there was no doubt that that free was going to be too long for me already, and uh, he took the right option. He did indeed, John. As you said, uh, we can't uh, tell what way the wind is blowing up here, but down on pitch side, it seems to be favouring Barry Landers in this first half. So nearly 10 minutes gone, 1-1 one, one to Barry Landers, one point to Drumcall her Bradford, break well, the break of the ball got there, goes to Barry Landers. So the Barry, Brand Barry Landers now on the attack there now, and down below us there is Mike O'Brien for Barry Landers, but well intercepted there by... Tommy Stack, the fullback, Michal Reedy is going. Shawnee Buckley's outside him. Great ball for Shawnee, but back there is Stephen Walsh, well gathered by Walsh for Barry Landers. And out comes Fox for Barry Landers, there to Mike O'Brien. Great holder as well. Great years of service to Limerick. Hope to see him back in the green and white next year. The other centre field man is Willie Kelly. Kelly on a solo one. Ball inside that to Murphy, back again towards Stephen Fox. Fox to Mike O'Brien. Good hand passing, Michael Wayne twisting and turning, taught the hand. He looked inside, there's a small man there, little Jimmy Barry Murphy. Jimmy still going. Hand pass over, will this be intercepted? It, it will indeed. Great play there, back there from Drum Collar Bradford, and great defensive work back there by. It could have been Derry McCarthy back around the full back line. So Drum Collar Bradford with the quick free. So Drum Collar Bradford now trailing by 1 1 to 1 pint, to pint coming from. Patrick Danley over the far side of the field. 
Derry McCarthy for Drum Colour brought it back towards Nile Conway. Great play from Conway to find Tom McLaughlin, the towering centre back from Lactus and Bradford. A great ball then out towards Shawnee Buckley. Can Shawnee put this ball over the bar? Shawnee's foul and this is going to be a freeze foul by the cornerback Shane Fox. And a good scoring opportunity now, yet again for me Hall Reedy and Drum Colour Bradford. Ten minutes gone, one one to Belly Landers, one point to Drum Colour Bradford. Romy Hall missed a very easy free about six minutes ago. Gave a quick free to Patrick Donnelly to put his first score on the drum colour brought for the count. Now can we already at his first score of this afternoon? We already with the shot and that's gone to the left and it's gone wide and John, we already not on form. Yeah, he's playing okay but uh, his, two, his two frees there, attempts at frees were, were, were dreadfully bad. Yes, it could be a lot, lot closer. It should be only one point between the teams, but let's hope that we, we can't be too hard on Michal, a fantastic player. One of the best players to ever come out of the drum colour Bradford Club, and I'm sure Michal will get it right, hopefully in the next three or two. Derry McCarthy for drum colour Bradford, he's on a solo one. Good play from Derry, he's twisting and turning, he looks for Michal really. Michal twisting and turning, he finds Ray Lynch over the far side of the field. Good play from Lynch, but also good play from the full back there, Lee Martin far. Bally Landers and he's foul and it's going to be a free to Bally Landers. And if drum colour Bradford and aware, there's going to be a quick break on here. So the referee, Mike Mann, is leaving the free there too. Looks it's going to be Stephen Walsh over the far side of the field for Bally Landers. Who got that very fortunate goal, but it's intercepted in there by Drum Colour Bradford. It could have been a chance of a goal if that ball had broken kindly, but still Drum Colour Bradford have it. It looks like Garrett Noon has gone through. A shot, it's high and it's over the bar. A great score for Drum Colour Bradford. And I think, John, that was Shani Buckley, was it? Shani Buckley, a great score there. Himself and Garrett Noon look very alike, and we can't see the Drum Colour Bradford numbers, red numbers, very hard to see. So two points between the teams and Quick kick out from Declan O'Connor. Works well for Bally Landers. Didn't work so well for Drum Colour Bradford. Martin now for Bally Landers. Twisting and turning in the centre of the field. To Mike O'Brien. Mike O'Brien looking inside for Jimmy Barry Murphy. He looking inside for Mike Manson. Great play there though from Tommy Stack, is it? And Drum Colour Bradford. Great defending back there now towards Mike O'Brien. Being closely tended to by Tommy Stack. Johnny Murphy for. Bally Landers, good hand passing, good work. Back to, towards the number 10, Jimmy Barry Murphy. A shot from Jimmy Barry Murphy, and it's high and it's over the bar. A great score for Jimmy Barry Murphy and Bally Landers, and they lead in a scoring of 1 2 to 2 points. Good score, John. Yeah, it will work score um, from the shot kick out. It will work well up the field. See Eamon O'Neill, the two managers down below me, and John Bruder. Aaron O'Lean, slightly the happier of the two managers at the moment. From Colour Bradford playing some nice, attractive football, but need to put them chances onto the scoreboard. Eamon Scott, sun in his eyes, cap in his head, good kick out. He's going to find Shawnee Buckley, he's going to find Jason Stokes, and it's going to be a free to Drum Colour Bradford. The captain is going to take matters into his own hands, and he looked for a ball then out towards Owen Barry. Owen Barry making his first start in this in the 2008 Senior Football Championship final and on Barry is fouled. Great play there from young Barry and he's going to leave the ball there now towards Shawnee Buckley. Is Shawnee Buckley going to take this himself or is he going to leave it to Michal Reedy? Good ball up there now towards Garrett Noon. We haven't seen much of Garrett. Back towards Shawnee Buckley. Shawnee still going through. Shawnee back towards Garrett. Good into play from the two. Young lads back in the doors, Buckley again, will Buckley try and shoot and score? The shot is brilliantly blocked down and taken out of defence by Barry Landers. But a bad interception in by Donnelly, back towards Michal Reedy, is it? Reedy gone through, shot from Reedy, it's high and it's over the bar. Great score from Michal Reedy, we know what Michal can do, great score, John. Yes, that was much more like drum colour Bradford, that's the kind of drum colour Bradford football that we want to see. Great play from Donnelly to find Michal Reedy, and now there's only two points between the teams. Much better start to suggest the Stokes down around centre field being closely attended to now by Mike O'Brien. Still a lot of room in that uh, Bally Landers full back line. Ray Lynch is inside there with Garrett Noonan, two men full far length, very crowded up around midfield. Up goes Murphy, up goes Kelly, 
Bell in the break of the bar, Glotter. It goes towards Johnny Murphy, back down now towards Mike O'Brien. O'Brien back towards Stephen Walsh, brilliantly blocked down, and Kendrum Color Bradford. Walsh is back there. Again for Bally Landers, he's coming out of the defence and he passes it down out towards Willie Kelly. Willie Kelly up towards Johnny Murphy. Johnny Murphy had a great game here last week, but the ball is inside there and there's that free man back there, Gary Egan. He needs to release it now straight away. Great play from Gary. Finds Patrick Donnelly in the centre of the field, taught a hand from Donnelly, great left pegging him. Back now towards Jason Stokes, we haven't seen much of Jason in, in this county final, but he was found railing. Great ball, look at the half-back Conway. Ball in now towards Garrett Noonan, can Garrett turn, can Garrett twist? He goes and taught a hand. Look inside, Ray Lynch has gone inside, ball passed outside towards Conway once, once again. Conway, back towards Garrett Noonan, shot from Noonan, it's not great, it's picked inside by the goalkeeper Declan O'Connor and fouled. Quick free taken towards Mike O'Brien for Belly Landers. Stephen Walsh having a good game for Belly Landers. Back to the centre back Fox and Bally Landers are on the attack again, leading by two points. 15 minutes gone. A good ball inside there. Inside to the full forward line. It looks like it could be Mike Mansell over there for Bally Landers twisting and turning. Look inside. Back there towards the centre forward, Stephen Fox. Fox has a great chance of putting this over the bar. It's high. It looks good. It's over the bar from Stephen Fox. A great score from Bally Landers and John. They really are working the ball beautifully. Yes, they worked the ball up the field, but uh, on the other hand, uh, Garrett Nolan, I think he, he thought about a goal, and uh, when he, when he hit the op that option went, the, the chance of a point was gone if he had taken his point the other on, and that ball was cleared in up the field, and uh, a, a point resulted from Fox. Yes, it did indeed, John, and uh, Belly Landers hold that three-point advantage, 15, 16 minutes gone in the first half, halfway through the first half. That goal, I hope it won't turn out to be the turning point of the game. It's Eamon Scollard, son in his eyes still in that cap and head, that's a better kick out from Scollard, out in towards the centre of the field, up goes Johnny Murphy with the ball, breaks to Michal Reid, he's been closely attended to by Patrick Fox, Michal looks inside, a ball in over the head of the Ballylanders half back line, will Ray Lynch pick it up, fantastic play from Lynch, Derry McCarthy's gone outside, great play from Derry, Derry twisting and turning, came on as a sub last year, made a great impact, great talent and Derry's been closely attended to over there by uh, Connie McSweeney, still Derry McCarthy, taught to hand, Good play back outside. Garrett Nolan back towards Jason Stokes. Stokes in towards Michal Reedy. He kick off right, can kick off left. Can he kick it over the bar? Yes, he can. A great score from Reedy. Missed two frees, but two scores from player John and Drum Color brought from well back in it. Yeah, Michal and Michal, uh, Shani Buckley and Derry McCarthy are playing very well down in the half, half forward line and they're keeping the half backs of, of Belly Landers out of it completely. But um, of course, that dreadful goal that went in early on, uh, we, we're, we're battling inside all the time. But I'm just looking at, at the, 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 the tricolour and it's blowing fiercely down the field and uh, certainly there's a very strong breeze that's fa favouring Bally Landers. Well, I hope you're right, John, because if it is, uh, two points mightn't be enough for Bally Landers in the second half. Let's see Mike Fahey and John Brewer down below us. Seeing is there any changes to be made yet? I don't think so. Drum Colour Bradford are playing reasonably well at the moment. As we said, that disastrous goal. A mix up in the Drum Colour Bradford defence, and it's 1 3 to Bally Landers, four points to Drum Colour Bradford, and an injury over there to. Um, it looks like it's Patrick Danley, but uh, nothing too serious. Declan O'Connor getting ready to take this kick out for Benny Landers, his team lead by two points, 20 minutes gone, 10 minutes, just a little over 10 minutes to go to the half-time interval here in Park Nagrell in Limerick, great play over the far side of the field yet again by Derry McCarthy for Drum Colour Bradford, Derry going through but being closely attended over there by Connie McSweeney, McSweeney surely fouls Derry McCarthy, Noss is the referee man, play goes on and Derry still over there. Jason Stokes finds Patrick Donnelly. Donnelly looking for his second point. Taught a hand from Donnelly back towards Michal Reedy. Intelligent ball from Michal Reedy in to find Raymond Lynch. Reedy back to Reedy. Can he go through? Still going through. Great strength, great determination from Reedy. A great score from Reedy. And one point between the teams, John. And Reedy's back on song. Well, that was a marvellous point again. And I was listening to Mickey Ned on the radio coming down this morning and he was talking about if he could see new blood here in the county final. I think he may, he may go back and start looking at some of the old blood. He's not giving the game to them in the last 12 months. Michal is in fire. 
Alex Johnny's overall uh, scoring from play has been uh, magnificent. Maybe not so from the free taking, but that's fantastic scores. And Dan Lee, that big redhead Dan Lee in the centre of the field. We have already seen a lot of the ball. He really is transformed. But commentators cross the ball breaks back there now towards Stephen Walsh and Barry Landers around the attack. One Barry being closely. Costly Mack and his men are pulling his man, his man there being Mike Mansell and on Barry could get a tick for this. And Mansell takes the free. In there now towards the, the half back, Tom Fox, Fox up around the half hour and back towards now Johnny Murphy. Murphy will find um, the danger man Mike Mansell there, look for O'Callaghan over the far side of the field. Jimmy Barry Murphy, the small little man, he scored a nice few scores here. That's a great looking shot from Jimmy Barry Murphy, John. And we have, what we have really is doing for Drum Bradford, Jimmy Barry Murphy is doing for Barry Landers. Yeah, there's no other one here after picking up two red points. He is indeed, John. So two men of the match performances down there at the moment from Jimmy Barry Murphy and Michal Reedy. And the switch on the drum colour her ball for Team 1. Barry's gone back, corner back to Mac, Jimmy Barry Murphy. And Mikey Clancy is coming out so to Mac Mike Mansell. So the drum colour her ball for selectors thinking that on Barry might be able to do a better job on Jimmy Barry Murphy with Emma Scott with the kick out out towards Mikey Clancy. And that's... Kept in, kept in by um, Tom McLaughlin nearly, but it's going to be it's going to be a line ball to Mike O'Brien and Barry Landers and Jimmy Barry Murphy, and on Barry having a bit of a tussle down below us. Referee Mike Mann will want to keep an eye on the two small lads, two small men in stature. On Barry just about two inches above Jimmy Barry Murphy, so that could be an interesting tussle for the afternoon. A good play from Mike O'Brien. Back there now towards Mike O'Brien there from the full forward, Danny Murphy, the captain of the team. Mike O'Brien just down below us, back in there now towards the captain Murphy once again. Murphy being closely attended by Tommy Stack. Is he going to be brought to the ground? It's great defensive work back there, I think, by Tommy Stack, but Murphy gathers it for Barry Landers. Back there now towards Mike O'Brien, back in his corner forward position. Or they say he won't be there for too long. Great defensive work back there by Mikey Clancy, great defensive work back there by... On Barry and on Barry looks as though he's going to be going into the referee's notebook here. Maybe just to take in another scoring opportunity for Barry Landers who lead on a scoreline of 1-4 to 5 points. I have to say, John, there was good defensive work back there from Tommy Stack and Mikey Clancy and on Barry. Yes, but if, of course if the um, score this one out, they'll have a goal in it again. Yes, and it is that small little man, Jimmy Barry Murphy, who's going to take this free. Jimmy can kick off both left and right. So if Mickey Neto Sullivan is here in the Gaelic grounds this afternoon, he should be watching the likes of Jimmy Barry and possibly as Michal Reedy kicked his way onto the Limerick team at centre forward. Jimmy Barry Murphy, it's calling, it's calling beautifully inside the upper post and it's a score for Barry Landers and again Jimmy Barry Murphy and it's a goal between the teams. Just about six and a half minutes to go plus injury time. There mightn't be much injury time left or to go, sorry. But if that wind is as strong as you say, John, the three points uh, might not be good enough for Bally Landers and Ned English and John Bruder get their troops back into the dressing room and uh, just cut out that supply of ball into Jimmy Barry Murphy because he is the danger man for Bally Landers at the moment. But haven't seen much of Kieran O'Callaghan, but he got that all important goal. Yes, John, there's no doubt about it. The ball held up that wind perfectly for Mike O'Brien. Bally Landers are on the attack again, but great play over there by Tom McLaughlin. Gary Egan picking up the loose ball and McLaughlin coming out of defence. Gary Egan very close to him. Great play from McLaughlin to find Egan. Gary Egan must say is playing a good game for Drum Colour Bradford, but just again I'll have to keep my mouth shut because that's the second time I put the commentators course on the Drum Colour Bradford team. A high dangerous ball in towards Jimmy Barry Murphy and Owen Barry. Great interception off from Owen Barry. Great play from Barry and a more great play there once again from Owen Barry who's had a fantastic start. He's been moved on to Jimmy Barry Murphy. Stokes back towards Shawnee Buckley. Good play from Buckley. He'll have to release it back towards Neil Conway. Conway to Gary Egan. Danley, an intelligent ball up to find Ray Lynch. Lynch is out in front of the cornerback. The cornerback there being Shane Fox. Up there now towards. It looks like it's D. Larry, the cornerback, coming up into the half hour position. And. An injury down there, and it's going to be a free to Drumcolour Bradford. 